Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I am here to share my latest flip through of my design team project for Tsunami Rose. Um, this month we're using the Hummingbird printable kit. And I'm also going to be showing you some um, ephemera from J9 scraps and I will post all the links below for you guys. So for this project, I used a hardcover um, book and I liked it because of the bird images. It's vintage, it's 1950 something. And the spine came off. So um, I liked the rawness of the edges and I just decided to leave it like that. And it is ring bound. So let me just show you in. I did some light stamping throughout as well. Some coffee staining, some spraying of some inks, etc. So in here I'm just showing you the um, library pocket and the card. This is J9 Scraps. And this page and some of the pages I've reinforced with just some um, book pages. There's a pocket here. And this is also I've used some additional um, Tsunami Rose digital kits throughout. And this I just attached with a paper clip. And this is a J9 Scraps envelope. And I'm also um, using some vintage pieces that I received on a purchase that I recently did from um, GT Designs. I'll, I'll post uh, Renee's link below. She has fabulous vintage items. It's just more journaling space. And I really enjoyed using this uh, ring binding system because uh, pages can be added and taken away, which I really, really like. I kept this vintage page as is because I really liked the um, patina of the worn pages on it. And again, some light stamping. Just cleaning up my craft room space and found some stamps I had been looking for. So, yes, I used them here. And this is uh, one of the envelopes that's in the kit. And I've um, I've left this one open for more space for journaling. Uh, J9 scraps bag and I just added a bit of trim to that with some additional journaling spaces. This is also a J9 scraps um, time card and I just folded it up and used it as a tag and added a little bit of um, ribbon there. Just a little light stamping. And I did, as I said, some spraying on some of the pages and I also did a little bit of distressing stenciling light stamp here and I like the way um, Daisy designed this kit you can journal right on both sides of the page which is fantastic I liked how this came out so I just left it this um, I saw Yvonne Crafty White Preston. She is Junk Journal Junkies. And I saw her do this and I wanted to try it. So thank you, Yvonne. And I really like the way that looks. This is J9 Scraps, the layaway tag. And then here's an additional little pocket with um, more of the kits there. Sorry. Yep, that's the back of the page. So I did um, use a little bit of coffee stain paper. More light stamping here and there. Here I just added more journaling space and this card just opens up for journaling in the back. Another pocket with the digital kit. Just added more of the telegram. Journaling space there. And this is a, a reserve book card from J9 Scraps and again I made this into a tag and then I just added some pieces from her shop which include the garment pin and some of the um, Sorry, silk ribbon, and I just added some additional little pieces to that there. These images. I'm sure you guys have seen um, us posting this kit. It's just a lovely, lovely kit to work with. This is also J9 Scraps, and I just sprayed a little bit there. Just cut this paper bag down so I can get more journaling spaces there. Just attach this um, 
the paper clip and it's the more journaling cards or space here. And then this is the LAOA pocket uh, envelope that the Little Scraps carries. Whoopsies. Things are flying off my hands here. Uh, another pocket there. And then this one just has these tags. And the back I did a lace pocket, you guys. And just added some more little pieces here. This is more journaling space. And then here just add a little bag with a little bit more of the uh, vintage playing cards and just a little bit more journaling space. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will post all the links below. As I said, I had so much fun working with this one. And um, if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thanks for stopping by.